like a very rich crabby sweet like pumpkin kind of taste i don't know how to explain really? it tastes like a pumpkin bro really? that's the pie right there oh, 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 oh. look at lorenzo so guys i am super excited for this video because i'm with some new friends extreme pond Stars. We got Raj the Iguana Man, and we got Epic Eric. I mean, unless you've got another thing. It's like a, we'll call him Epic Eric for tonight. Guys, today we're on the beach. We've got the arc here. We're set up. I want to get these boys hooked up on a shark, a tarpon, whatever, and we're going to use a bait we've never tried before. Lorenzo yeah. has caught a bunch of snakeheads. PB snakehead right there. Snakehead. No, it's not your PB. No? No, no it's not my third No, he's going to freeze it. And, and we're gonna use, we're gonna put this butterfly snakehead out for bait. Guys, comment down below. Do you think this is gonna get yoked? Boys, what do you think? I think it's a good chance that it's gonna get something You think it, that something's thing. gonna grab it? Oh yeah, it's gonna get yoked. He's gonna get yoked. We're, we're gonna put two snakeheads out. We got George, we got Christian. Dude Perdix over there, we're all trying to catch bait. There's no bait on the beach today, guys. The silver sides have been going nuts. There's nothing today. Hopefully we can get some kind of bait, but we've got some bait. Guys, stay tuned to see what we'll eat this nasty snakehead. Watch your lips. Watch your damn lips. Bro, that's a stinger, bro. Nice. Dude, yeah, we got, we. this snakehead, bro, he should have watched his lip. Now he's got a big old hook in his lip. Oh. Now he's got this big old stinger right in his back. Wow. And now I'm going to walk him out. What do you think? I think so, I bro. Think I'm going to walk him out. I'm going to walk him out. Okie dokie. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Snakehead number two is going out. I swam the first one out. This guy, my pole is long enough where I get to cast him, and I don't have to swim. Thank God. Okay, so I'm going to send this guy out right now. Here we go. I'm a banana. <laughs> okay, Rod, so here's the deal, bro. Um, Lorenzo, come here, buddy. Lorenzo, come here. I got a question for you. I have, I have a, a good friend of mine, Alan Sinley. Shout out to you. He's a Trini. And he turned me on to this incredible thing called a roti. Yeah. Can you put iguana in roti? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, that's actually a good idea. I don't think there's... That's ever before been done before. Can Lovely. you do that? We could try. Can we try it? We could try. We could make an iguana roti. What? Guys. What is that? A roti. Is, tell one. What's an a roti? A roti is like this, like flat bread, right? It's yeah. Like a big you like flat wrap it. You wrap yeah. You. It they eat it. They break it up. They use like a tortilla. You can make like a burrito with it. You can break it up. Eat like you know different food with okay. it. So. That's actually a great idea. Bro, actually. extreme, extreme. Come here. You're, you're a Trini too, right? Okay, so what do you think about doing a, a, a iguana roti? Iguana roti. Come on now. I don't know if you guys are ready for that. Just yet. <laughs> but keep in mind, in front of that, they eat iguanas all the time. So iguanas and roti, American style. Yo, I'd be the first one to do it in Florida. In Florida. Here we go. Here we go, watch your left. Dave, yeah. handle it. Handle it, that's Dave. You, that's you, Dave. That's, that's you. Dave, handle no, it. No, pasta. No, that's you, bro. That's handle you. It's it, all bro. you, man. It's all you. No. Woo. There it's we Dave, go, boy. It's a snake fish. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Hey, guys, this is on a snake yo, head right yo, here. Yo. yo, guys, this is the snake head. Come on, Dave. baby. Oh, I might as well film too. All right, yo, let's go. Yo, this is on the snake head. On the, the first snake water head. snake that you just saw Bro. him cast out. Yo, right there. The right there, snake, man. Yo. Dude, what is going to be? What is this going to be, guys? I have no idea. On a snake head, guys. Yo. No, 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 no. Yo. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Let's go. Watch what's your lip. Is that the snake head? That's yeah. the snake head. Nice. Nice. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah. come on Extreme, come on bro. 
Guys, this is on the snake head. Hey, where's the spotlight? You got the spotlight? Is it coming in? Bro, extreme. Yes, what you got, baby? Yes, sir. You happy right now? Yes, sir. Yes. Come on, dude. Hey, Sophie, he's coming right here. I don't think he's on. He, he has seaweed monster. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay. Guys, so here's the deal. We got both of our snakeheads got popped. They got ambushed, man. They got ambushed, bro. Both of them got popped. We lost both fish. Dude. But what do you think that was, man? I don't know, man. It's got, I felt like a shark. It felt like a shark. It didn't feel too, too big, but it felt like it was a nice shark. Pulling, pulling, but... Dang, man. That was it, man. Dang! Okay. What's he eating? What? Uh, trouble. Trouble. Trouble's gone? gone? He busted it. Oh. Oh, he broke the wire. He broke the wire, dude. Look at that, bro. That was awesome. Look at this right here, guys. Absolutely destroyed the rig. There was a treble. There was wire. But there's nothing left. Yeah. And as the, as the rod was bending, I was running towards it. I'm like, is that a fish? Yo, know, I just did a summer salt. Dude, I dude, I saw you, bro. You, were, you <laughs> ate it, bro. I ate it. I ate it. <laughs> I ate it. Guys, look at this. This snakehead, this got hit, man. This got spanked. Wait, it got jacked right here, bro. So this is where he, this is where he cut off right here. I got two hooks. I got one hook here. Yeah, okay, yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. Is that a shark? Uh, I don't know what that is, bro. It could be a shark, it could be a barracuda. But, dude, this thing got spanked, bro. S Mr. Snakehead? Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Christian from Casa Salsa is going to teach Raj a salsa step. So he wanted to learn how to do a salsa step, so since there's no, nobody to dance with, I'm going to show him what they call a front double cross. Front double cross? Front double cross. So you always have to make sure that the first the first tap is always to the inside. To the what? Inside. To the inside. So let's do it with the right leg first. Okay. So you're going to tap to the inside, tap, tap, and then step. Step. And then okay. to the inside, to the other foot, tap, uh, tap, uh, step. Uh, Keep it going. Tap, 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 and tap, tap. Oh, <laughs> 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 If you guys have like a strong stomach for oysters, crab, all that weird kind of seafood, you can eat these things raw, guys. People eat raw crabs all the time. What about seals? Seals always eat raw crabs. Bro, true, true, bro, true. We, 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 we eat pompano, and they eat these. True. There you go. I mean, it's all part of the food chain. Part of the deal, dude. The, the flea tastes good. The flea has like a very rich, crabby, sweet, like pumpkin kind of taste. I don't wow, know how to explain. Really? It tastes like a pumpkin, bro. Really? really? Look at this right here. Who would have ever thought these little fleas would taste just like pumpkin pie? Look at oh, that right there. Oh. That's the pie right there. Oh, 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 oh try one. Oh. 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 She wants to try one. Oh my Bring God, yo. Yo. Now the what girls. Oh. He said one of the girls will try it. I got it here. Oh, she got it right here. So we'll oh, okay. clean it over a little bit for her. It's just a flea. I would, I would. I'm gonna pretend it tastes like a Dorito. Oh, okay. Exactly. Quite true with the back oh. molar. Give it a good crunch. Yeah, she did give it a good crunch. Yeah, it tastes like a pretzel. See, I told you guys it tastes like something good. She's crunching it. It tastes actually really good. Really? Oh, okay. But you know what, guys? People actually eat shrimps with the shell and raw. I've seen it all the time. Okay. So kind of like something like that. You're going to men in ways. Never Yo, these kids are braver than I am. Get out here. He's ready. Hey, go look at I washed it up. Oh, you did? And go. they're eating them, guys. Go, look, Yo, go. I don't really. Oh. No, good, but I'm oh gonna try my one. God, he's eating it. <laughs> No way! There's no way, bro. There's no way. Fresh from the ocean. Doesn't get any fresher than that. Make sure you chew it up nice and good, bud. Oh! 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 Oh!
he just has an expensive taste. He has a sophisticated taste. So, yeah, he doesn't he like sophisticated power. That's, that's, yeah, exactly. exactly. That's, that's, like the lasagna. that's what it comes down to. At the end of the day, it comes down to he has a sophisticated, expensive wow. taste bud. Right from his Cuban roots, bro. It has to be fresh shellfish. Only the freshest is good for young Wait. Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, the tail as a, as a, as a spoon. Oh. See? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's a delicacy. Really? Mm. Yeah, I bet you there's some really good vitamins in South, South, in South Florida. It's a delicacy? Well, you know what? This might be the cure for uh, coronavirus. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. that's, a big, that's a pretty big claim, but you never know. I bet you that's packed with vitamins, though. Minerals, uh, proteins, oh. amino acids. Yes, sir. That's good. I got it. Let me just... All right. Go, go, go on, man. We'll do it. Yeah. Interesting. You guys have to put your mindset in somebody that's, like, trapped trying to survive, guys. Okay. We don't like, have Burger King. We don't have McDonald's. We don't have Porter <laughs> Pouches burgers. We have eggs from a flea. Yes, sir. Becca, you want to eat that? Off the beach. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this could be... Literally tastes That's like it. nothing. Yo, I can't well, believe this kid right here just ate it. Look, he's still, he's still eating it. He's still eating it. It's fresh. Are you still filming? Yeah. It's Bro. fresh, guys. It's like you eating fresh oysters. Yo, this kid is still eating. Look, he's actually going to try it. Oh! oh. <laughs> he's, yo, this guy's a trooper. Bro, I can't even get this guy to eat like a, a piece of broccoli. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's I eating sip? I can't wait for him to eat his oh. first piece of iguana. Oh. He's going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, can't even, I can't get this kid to get eat a piece of broccoli, bro. He he's won't really eat broccoli, eating, but he'll eat a sand flea. He's eating raw sand fleas with the iguana man, guys. Oh he my can't eat god. <laughs> he won't eat a broccoli, but he'll eat a sand flea. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Yo, this kid right here is a troop. Look, he's still munching on it. He said he said a little bit. Okay guys, so at this point we're switching gears to from fishing to going looking for iguanas and just want you guys to know, some I'm sure will have questions. Uh, Raj, if there was an expert iguana man, it's Raj. So he's he is the iguana man and he does this for a living. He actually does iguana removal jobs and these jobs are like an adventure and he invited on uh, us on some of these iguana event adventures so we're going along with the professional iguana man guys we had a blast as he was doing his thing oh by the way i'm at Mabamba's mexican and spanish restaurant in margate guys if you want the best mexican food anywhere on the planet this is the place to go uh you can go to labamba123.com and see uh, their website, all the six locations, and they have uh, a now a, a system where you can order uh, right online in order to take out uh, fantastic food. Guys, let's get to some iguana hunting. All right, folks. So last night the um, snakeheads got spanked. Oh, yeah. Both of them. We got a, like a double header, literally a double header hit on snakeheads. So uh, that worked out, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Didn't land any of them. Um, <laughs> these guys ate sand fleas raw. I didn't get any footage of that. That was kind of like. Uh. It actually Go take out Ryan's no. sandal. He got yeah. it. It actually tastes like juicy chicken. You tasted it? Yeah, she ate it. She ate one? Yeah, she ate one. On, on film. I didn't even see that. Take juicy out Ryan. Uh, the yeah, iguana man. Iguana man's going to have that episode. He was all into it, and they, the kids were all eating raw sand fleas. So. Um, <laughs> I don't think the moms were too happy. Yeah. So, guys, here's the deal. Change of tune. We woke up in the morning, and Lorenzo and Raj got into this conversation about what if you could, what if we caught iguanas with a shark reel? Lorenzo, we're gonna How go. How do you fish for iguanas? I don't know. I have no idea. No. <laughs> what can we? If we're if we're doing that for iguanas, can we actually call it fishing? Why don't we call it iguana-ing? Iguana-ing. Iguana iguana-ing. It's not fishing. No, it needs to be more catchy. Like, fishing just rolls off the tongue. Iguana-ing does not work. Iguana-ing. 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 I like it. Iguana-ing. 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 Iguana-ing? Iguana-ing. All right, so guys, Raj is actually, he's contracted to come in. He does iguana removal jobs, and we are going iguana removing with him, but we're going to use shark rods. Let's see how we do. I'm really, I really don't know what to expect right now because I've never ever in my life thought that you could catch iguanas, right? 
eat them. I don't know if we're gonna eat. Are you gonna eat the iguanas? Yes, 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 yes. I'll see. But like sand fleas and iguanas. There's a squirrel. <laughs> oh no, that's where I draw the line. Squirrels actually, I hear squirrels actually very good. Ross I've heard. With, I've never like, eaten it, but I've heard it. With fires, there's a scene about him eating a squirrel. Yeah, they're high in cholesterol, it. but I hear squirrel is very good. So, if okay. You, would you eat a squirrel? No, I would You would not. eat a sand flea, but not a squirrel? <laughs> yes. Sophie would eat a raw sand flea. A raw sand flea, but not a squirrel. Yes, that's how the video goes. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Goodness. She is. Uh, she has expensive taste buds, and she likes to see me. She likes raw fish, so, so I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't surprised when she ate this. Sandwich. All right, well, guys, I don't know about all this eating exotic things, but um, I don't. I guess it's not exotic because we're in Florida, guys. We're gonna go iguanaing with shark rods. Iguanaing. Iguanaing. Watch your lip. There are iguanas, literally everywhere. There are iguanas all over this place. As soon as Raj stepped out of his car, about 50 iguanas just went nuts. They, they saw you coming, bro. Oh, there's a huge, huge one over there. Oh, yeah, there's a dinosaur over there, guys. He's, he's crawling across the grass over there. Oh, there's a, there's a bunch of big boys over there. He's creeping. Dude, he's creeping. Dude, he got, he, got he got him. He got him, bro. He got him. He got him. Dude, right into the water. Give him the business. Dude. Whoa! Oh. Lorenzo. <laughs> bro, that was epic, man. Lorenzo, good job, bro. Look, where, where is he going? <laughs> Raj, this dude's like acting like he's an expert. Look at him. He's doing. He's been catching iguanas for five minutes, bro, and he's he's already an expert. He's going after the dinosaur, man. He's going. He's going straight for the dinosaur, Raj. There's some big boys there. Lorenzo. There he goes. Master, the master is at work. Iguana Sensei, right there. Do you look at him? Oh, he's got. He's done. He is done. He is done. He's done. He's done. On the shark rod. Dude. Oh. Coconut Creek Muck Monster right here, guys. Oh, look at him. Coconut Creek oh, Muck God. Monster right there, bro. Iguana number one. Dude. How do you just Dude. Grab it? Oh, my gracious. Oh, yes, man. Dude, oh. look. Look at that, bro. First iguana on the shark rod. On the rod. shark rod, bro. Check it out. Good guys, job. Is, this, is this fair? What do you think? <laughs> First iguana on the shark rod. On the shark rod, coming at you, baby. So we caught some small, pretty small ones, man. We caught a, this nice, decent sized one. I'm kind of curious to see how this thing is going to handle one of the giants. One of the giants. Do you, Raj, do you think we can go get a giant? Uh, we're going to try, man. Dude, we're gonna gonna try we are going to try. Uh, depends. It depends, it, it depends on which one. There's some fuzzy ones that sting and fuzzy ones that don't sting. That's a moth. That's gonna be a moth. That's gonna be a moth. This is a fruit piercing moth. This one is Gonadonna nutrix. Nice. Feeds on pond apple. This is in the Anona family. Do so, certain, do certain moths only eat certain plants. So uh, every moth works. has its own plant. That's how it works. Yep. Oh. So, so if you know what moth you're looking for, you look for the plant, and you'll find that. So, guys. By the way, some of you don't know, I have another channel. It's called Keys Moths. I'm a total moth butterfly nerd. And check it out. We're just out here on a golf course and catching iguanas and finding moths. So if you're interested in total geek out on bugs, check out Keys Moths, guys. Right, here's another one. Oh, look, it's bigger. A little bit bigger. Wow. 
But this. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Easy. Easy. Sticking right at him, dude. It's so close. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Put it, wait. Hold on. Push it, push it. Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait. Let me show you. Yeah. Ready? Wait, wait. There you go. There you, go. There you, go. There you go. You got him. You got him. You got him. Oh, you got him. Oh, got him. Oh, oh, oh. Fighting through the hold trees. Hold on. Hold on. Look. He's pulling drag. Hold on. Oh my gosh, he's going crazy! <laughs> Whoa! He's trying to swim! Oh, no. Lorenzo! Lorenzo got his first iguana, bro! Whoa. Lorenzo! Dang. Dang, dude! Come on! Look at him. Get, get a close up on the nest. I'm mean. Whoa, 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 dude, he's whoa, mean. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. whoa. Relax. You Nobody's know, got you at your nest. You don't have to be like that. Oh, Lorenzo, look! This one's missing a hand, dude! Dude! Oh. Well, he's really that, man. I have no idea, but that could probably explain why he's so mad right now. Get a close up of that. My first iguana, dude. First iguana. Look at that. Ooh. Come on, man. <laughs> With the shark reel, baby. And see, right. Come on, Guys, go for it. This is insane, guys. We just caught this iguana with this shark rod right here. Absolutely insane. But you know what? We're just warming up right now because really, we're going to go to a spot that has even bigger iguanas and we're gonna have to get a bigger shark rod. Try to put him in the bag. Let's do it. Well, Lorenzo, good job on your first iguana. Thank you. This time, Catch brother. Some more. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, that's, that's something. I said, tell me. Start telling me. Come out here. Come out this way. 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 Just, just sneak around the side. Sneak around the side. <gasps> Guys, there's huge ones. There's three huge ones. Guys, look how big it is. Look, look. Oh my gosh. Look. I'm actually kind of freaked out about this. I'm actually freaked out. He's like about three feet away from me. Guys, he's coming right towards me. All right, guys. Sophie, nice and slow, dude. Sophie's going in like she's done this a thousand times. Dude, he's starting to he's starting to he's starting to pop up. Oh. One more chance, one more chance. Oh Alright guys. This iguana is responding to the chum. He's responding, dude. He's coming. Sophie's closing in. Oh, really? It's gonna be like that, huh? This is not as easy as it looks, guys. Go, you got him. Oh. Sophie's got him. She's got him. Yes, oh. dude. She's got him. She's got him. Here we go. Going for the land. Oh, great. Look at this thing. <laughs> ready, ready? Oh, no, 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 no. Raj, you want to come and land this bad boy? Got him. Got him in the bag. Got him in the bag. Yeah, Sophia. Buddy. Sophia, watch your lip fine. Good job. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sophie, how does it feel? That was legendary. Come on over here, girl. It's an iguana. Dude, that's huge. I can never talk. What a beast. Look at that. How did it feel? Like, what were you thinking when you were about to get him? I literally thought that I wasn't going to get it because he was, like, really antsy with me. Yeah. then I just got that him was, over and he just started running. That was patience <laughs> and persistence. <laughs> persistence, man. Paid off for Sophia. Awesome, girl. Dude, so proud of you. Sick, man. That was sick. Honestly, yeah, I saw him. He was fidgeting. He was getting agitated. 
but you just got it right over him at the right amount of time and he like kind of like <laughs> ran right into it so it was all perfect yo like that was yeah. really really awesome good. This is a beast. And he was fighting like a monster yeah, on that shark rod. He pulled some drag, right? dude. Yeah, he, was, he was going crazy. He pulled some drag, dude. He was dude. going crazy. Look at, look, look at the patterns of, on the back of this red one. Oops, sorry. Look at, oh, well, he was leopard colored, but now he like turned like, I don't even know what color that is. What color is that? I don't know. That's like Come on, CC, red, girl. green. That's like, what, what is, no, seriously, what color is this iguana, guys? This is a weird colored iguana right here. Unbelievable. Sophie, how does it feel to hold such a monster iguana? It feels awesome. Like, I've never done anything in my life like this. Yeah. So, now, shout out to the iguana man. You're pretty cool. You're, shout out to iguana man. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> that is a sick one. Sophie, I'm, I'm so proud of you, man. Like You're you're like this pretty, pretty little girl, but now all of a sudden, you're handling live dinosaurs like this. Watch your lip, iguana. <laughs> that iguana right there broke us off, guys. Yeah, we're re guys. Are we rigging right 50 now? 50 pound Brady broke. He, he broke 50 pound okay. Brady. No. Hey, you, just, you just hang on to him. <laughs> Don't do that! Watch your lip. Logo in the back. I think these guys are too loud. Got him. He got him. He got him. Here he goes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god, he's going. Oh, yo. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, hold this. Yep. You got that right there? Alright, I'm going in. Oh, he's doing this. He's doing this with flip flops. Roger the beat. Ah. That's the beast. That's the beast. He got him. Got him. Right there, guys. Rod, that's Woo! what we came for. Right there, bro. There we go. Look at the monster. Wow. Oh my gosh, dude, that is huge. Look, dude, that, that's got to be. That's got to be five foot, dude, right? All day, bro. All day. That's so a five foot strong, iguana, bro. Too, man. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys. This iguana is actually. Bigger than Lorenzo! It's bigger than Lorenzo! Look at these spines. He's got these big old yeah. lumps on his yep. head, these big old like Ew. cheeks right here. Yep. And look at this. This is the dewlap. Dewlap. Show me the dewlap, Whoa. baby. Oh, dude, look at that dewlap. Whoa. <laughs> He's got jaws. You can probably see his teeth a little oh, bit. Yeah. Better. Oh, look at those teeth, guys. <laughs> that oh, is yeah. sick. Look at those teeth. Raj, that guy would mess you up. Dude, he, he, wanted, would right? he would teach me a fat lesson if you bro, really wanted Look at this tail. I mean, like this tail. Imagine that tail slapping you, Lorenzo. It's like a paddle, it's bro. And it's serrated. Yeah, it's serrated, yeah. bro. It would totally mess up your day. All right, can, can Lorenzo hold him? Is that going to be yeah. doable here? Yeah. Here, uh, you want to hold him like that, Lorenzo? Go ahead. Lorenzo's All got right. him. Oh, he's heavy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold wait. Up, I, I don't have him. No, so hold, go underneath okay. him like that. Okay. Just like that. Look at I want to hold it. Look at go, Lorenzo. Man. Look at Lorenzo. Dude. <laughs> uh, we got him. Or Raj got caught this Raj, beast. Man. He's got these big old spikes on his head. Yeah. He's got razor sharp teeth. He's got spikes on his nose, dude. Look, he's even got spikes on his nose. Like a dinosaur. Dude, what a crazy <laughs> monster this is, dude. Look at the, dude. Look at the thighs on this yeah, guy. Yeah, bro. Bro. Straight muscle. You can see like straight you can muscle. See the cut in his tail, like like yep. flexing his tail right he's there. He's flexing. You All right, guys, so we went shark fishing last night with snakeheads. That turned out, we got two hits, didn't work out so well, but we salvaged the day. Oh, we definitely redeemed ourselves. We redeemed it because we came and we got a hold of this monster. We actually caught these iguanas with some shark reels. Uh, special thanks to Raj the Iguana Man Woo! for coming and showing us a good time. I never thought, bro, when you said we were going to catch iguanas, I was thinking those little green things that are in my tree. Mm -hmm. I never realized we'd be holding a dinosaur apps like this crazy it's right? crazy so uh special thank you guys description in the description below there's a link to raj's channel guys don't go subscribe to raj the iguana man he does this all the time iguana you should have watched your lip buddy boy watch your neck watch your lip kid rona <laughs> rona no iguana rona here uh oh, it's everywhere <laughs> Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Watch your ah. lip.
Oh, dude, it's all over. So are the iguanas.